the very first one. Yeah, me too. I love that one. It's um, good. I, I love Thunderstorm. I love Sunkiss Citrus, the old ones. Um, I really liked, um, and sometimes our favorites get discontinued and it makes it yeah, really frustrating. I know, I know. We can't save things just because. If you don't buy we them, we can't save them. Yeah. Spice Grapefruit is one of those that I really love. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. The well, the, 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 the club was the whole was the whole reason behind that. We knew we were frustrated when our favorite favorite scents would get uh, discontinued. And we could only imagine that your customers were frustrated too. So creating that always get my bar was to to solve that problem. Yes. Um, Palm Beach Breeze. Like I get um, seasonal, I guess, favorites. I really like Palm Beach Breeze right now um, in laundry. I have, I bought a ton of it. So I've, I love doing laundry <laughs> right now because my laundry smells so good. So I love jammy time also. Jammy time, jammy time is my favorite. Yeah. I'm waiting for the day that y'all bring that back in the soak. So I'm putting my plug in there for right, that right now. I have this much left in the bottom of my bag from 2018. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jammy time, jammy time soak one. is, uh, yeah, good, good I love stuff. jammy time. Yes. It's amazing. We don't have a lot of influence on what comes back we don't. anymore. We yeah. Don't. We're they, kind of uh, decided by numbers and, you know, data. So, yeah. But Not by us. there are, the, but you guys get to influence that on Bring Back My Bar and um, just club participation too. So one of our things that we, um, that we normally talk about um, is our Cincy business and how much it's grown um, for both of our teams. And Felicia Rhodes is also on here too. She's a star director um, that is kind of like in our tribe that we do a lot of trainings together. And um, all of our teams have had so much growth. Um, this time last year, I had 50 team members and I have 387 now. And Tiffany's team- Holy cow! I know, right? That's awesome! <laughs> so Woo! Tiffany's yeah. team and Felicia's team both have grown so much. So we have a lot of new consultants on here and we talk about you guys and how wonderful home office is. And a lot of them joined during the pandemic. So they don't really, they haven't really experienced like Cincy Family Reunion. They haven't experienced hugging you guys. And yeah. we tell them that it's for real. It is so for real, <laughs> you know? And I mean, yeah. if you could, I guess uh, you can ask Tiffany and Felicia too, but one thing I want, if you can just kind of tell all of our people um, that are on here, you know, basically, a little bit about Cincy. Um, we share the history, so they know a little bit about the history and everything, but um, what you guys put into it, and we know we're gonna miss you because all of my team knows you're going on a mission, but praise the Lord, you are going to your calling. And I mean, we are just so excited for you guys to be able to do that. So we, we will be patient and wait for you to come back. But <laughs> if you don't mind, just kind of elaborating a little bit and telling a little bit about Cincy and, you know, because they all joined during COVID, so they don't really know. So I, before we, we do that, I would like to know um, any, anybody in the last year that joined, if they could come on and like say their name and what drew them to Sensi during a crazy pandemic. I would love to know that. All would right. that be okay? Yeah. Yes, first person in the comments, say yes, let's go. <laughs> Like all right candace said she wants to hold on okay candace all right hold on let me let me i want you to be able to see her okay the spotlight. okay there you go candace hi um i am candace and i am currently in fayetteville arkansas right can we don't okay i'm looking for candace oh it should um, it's probably because hold on a minute let me spotlight there just. she is Okay, yeah, we, see her. we see her now. Hi. <laughs> we are on a different page. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, my name is Candace, and I am currently in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And my sister used to sell Sensi like seven years ago, and she just actually re signed up under me. And I just kind of wanted to give this a try and have my own, my own thing. Yeah. So you knew about Cincy then before 
But why okay. Cincy? Lots of different opportunities out there. Why was Cincy well, the one that you chose your, to join? Even your sister had been a part of it and then um, not, and then now yeah. she's back, so. Well, life happened for her and yeah. um, life happened for me as well. And that's the reason why I joined Cincy was because I can work from anywhere. And I know that there's a ton of other places that I could have joined, but since he just felt like the right thing in my heart to do at that time. And when Brandy reached out to me, it was just the right thing at the right time. And for $30, I could not have passed it up. And that was the join kit that she had had. So here I am. Very cool. <laughs> Excellent. So welcome. We're so excited. And we, we probably will miss a hug right yes. now, but... Um, Hopefully you're still here. <laughs> You'll have to hug each other. I will be. At our yeah, surrogates. Yeah. Okay, so who's she's next? From, she's from Tiffany's team. So I want, I'm going to call okay. out Nicole. Um, I want Nicole Hi, to Nicole. come on and Nicole. spotlight her because she has Hi, a story. She um, has a story and a half. <laughs> okay. Always put on the spot. Um, so I joined last May. So May 2nd will be a year for me. We literally had moved from Vermont to Ohio right before COVID. Um, my fiance lost his job. I lost my job. <clears throat> so I needed something to pay our bills in this state that we don't know nobody. So Kimmy asked me a couple times. Once when I was still living in Vermont and I gave her every excuse in the book not to join, just like everybody else yeah. does. <laughs> and it's were they were excuses i didn't know really what sensi was i didn't really know a whole lot about it like my 20 dollar join kit last may was my very first sensi purchase in my whole life um so from that like it just kept growing i hit director in november um my team is at i think we're almost to 85 or we, we might have hit oh, i don't know we have a lot <laughs> Um, I hit um, annual mentor also, and it's just been a crazy, amazing journey. Hit level two of the incentive um, for last um, last incentive, so that was also really awesome. So like it was like a need thing, but I, I kind of started off like a hobby, but I also started off like right out the bat promoted double promoted my first month and it's just been crazy <laughs> and well now done. one of my teamies is like super super close to hitting superstar and then hopefully soon i'll have my first director too yeah. so i'm hoping for that for this year yeah That's it's, awesome. it's, it's really fun when you can mentor somebody as you grow yeah it's That's a learning cool. experience for everybody yeah. so. <laughs> So when you got to Ohio, did you get a job or is Sensi your full time? No, I started, so we, we moved here. We stayed with some friends until we found a place. But my new job that I had at the time, I was bartending um, and I got laid off because they just, they didn't have the hours or whatever at that time. And we had just moved and I was new and they obviously gave gave the hours to the seniority so I I needed something and like it, it it's paid my bills it's done That's more cool. than that it's just it's been a blessing in disguise so I if I would have joined sooner I should have joined sooner I kick <laughs> myself in the ass every day for not joining <laughs> That's cool. It's like planting a tree. The best time to uh, plant a tree is 20 oh, years wait. ago. The best time to join Sensi it was 15 years ago. The second best time is today. Yeah. So true. true. Yeah. Well, very nice to meet you. Um, and well done. Yeah, way to go. Yeah. That's impressive. Anybody else want to go? Anybody else new on here that? Hi. Hi. I got one wave and let me see. <laughs> okay. Oh no, let me um, unmute yours. Let me look at your name. It says image. Is that your name? Uh, no, it actually says L-M-A-J-E-S-K-E -E for, for oh, Laurie okay. Majeski. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see it. it. Looks like I am. It does. It does. It's like it's image spelled wrong. I thought it might be a, a, a very fun new name. I know. I thought the same thing when I was looking at it. So my story is actually a little bit different. Um, I was invited to my first Sensi party and honestly, I hadn't heard of it. I didn't want to go because I thought, you know, more junk in my house and I have <laughs> three special needs kids. So I can't really have like a lot of really nice things around. Yeah. So I went and I bought a Sensi Go with lavender because my kids were in therapy and they were teaching them to use um, aromatherapy. So my kids have fragile X syndrome. I have a daughter and twin boys. And one of the twin boys also has autism and he's extremely aggressive and destruction, destructive. So we're trying to find something that we can give him like immediately to help calm him down, change his senses and all that kind of thing. Uh, so I bought that Sensi Go and honestly, it was just a huge hit. We were carrying that everywhere. So out of that girl's party, two other parties, uh, came along so I went to those and um okay one of the kids um so I went to those and of course I bought stuff and honestly then I was just hooked so now my kids um walk around with wax bars in their hands almost all the time especially my one son you know box comes and I always have to order extra wax bars but um because I deal with a lot of different special needs families you know I've been able to spread it to those kind of people and talk about that and take samples to some of our meetings where the kids are allowed to come and uh, you know it's been a really good thing and something that I think they don't think about and something easy for them to carry around so that's kind of how I started Molly uh, I had a online party it was over eight hundred dollars Molly said why don't you just join he gave me a free kit and uh, away I went and actually I was um, less than three hundred dollars away from sensational start. Well, oh, oh, what's that? oh, I got a kid in underwear coming. coming. Okay, coming? No, no, go back. <laughs> go back. <laughs> Look, she just loves him. <laughs> the papas. Um, the yes, I was less than three hundred dollars away from a sensational start level three, which I actually hit the, the day A's. after my time the ended. A's. Wait. Oh shoot! <laughs> I have to go that way. The A's. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, let me. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. So there's three stories here, and something just came to mind, and I want to. Are you gonna talk about the testers and. Oh, no, no, no. Share that. Go ahead. You share that, and then I'll go. I, to I just remember. Um, I don't know who it was. One of our consultants calling, I think, or maybe it was a local company that um, found um, they they were. I don't know they taught autistic children or something and called up because they found that the kids um, connected with sensory and smelling and um, anyway, so they ordered or we gave them, I can't we gave remember, them a bunch of uh, uh, testers. tester sets. Yeah, for the kids to sit and, and play and smell and um, just very cool, so. Yeah. What I was, I was going to share, this is kind of a story of Sensi. There's three of you that shared your stories, and in many ways, they're all, all very different, but in some way, in one particular way, they're all the same. And we all have really the same Sensi story, even though the experience we all have is different. So when we talk about Sensi being about simplicity, authenticity, and generosity, those words aren't just words that sound good and work because they attract people that think they're great. Well, they do sound good. <laughs> yeah, it's much more than that. Yes. It defines how we interact with one another. And all three of you had a similar story in relation to simplicity, authenticity, and generosity. Whether we are parents of special needs kids, or we move to a new town, or um, we are uh, just in a situation with COVID where we need to look for old opportunities or new opportunities to find a new spark, what that is, is an individual story. It's an authentic story. 
And when we're authentic, we're not afraid of who we are. We're not ashamed of who we are. We're not trying to be something that we're not. We allow others to connect to us when we're authentic. If we are trying to be something we're not, then people can't connect because they're trying to connect to what they think we are because what, what we're projecting we are. And there's no power in that. But there are lots of mothers of special needs kids. That world is enormous. And by being um, authentic, it opens you up to opportunities to serve others in a similar situation. When you move to a new town, you're not the only one moving there. There's lots of people who are looking for friends in new towns. They're looking to get traction. They're looking for um, a friend group. So when people are moving to a new town, that might be your angle. Or it may be coming back to something that you've done before, that's your angle. But everybody has an authentic story to tell. And when we employ that authentic story in the service of other people, generosity, with a very simple message, here is something that you can, I can prove to you, you will like. Then you bring simplicity, authenticity together, and that story becomes replicated, even though everyone's individuality is different. If we take out um, generosity, and we're trying to get more out of life than we put in, it doesn't work. If we um, take out authenticity, people can't connect. I am, yeah. I've got to go in a minute. Uh, Josh Anderson. Oh, okay. Then I'm not going to answer. Yeah. When we go to, um, if we take out simplicity, then it doesn't work. So bringing all three of them together is the Sensi story. And you guys all shared it. And you guys, um, we love that you're all part of the Cincy story and this is my favorite part to just share and here's the stories and hear how Cincy has touched your lives and how you're touching others lives um because that's how I first experienced Cincy was um through Orville bringing it home and it made an impression and so um same for probably all of you and yeah. for all of you touching others so just love it and, and i got it because colette shared it with me yeah yeah love it so you have to go so right i feel bad we're gonna have to cut it i didn't know that so oh, one second okay. my sister's calling now <laughs> Crazy. I don't know. It's like everybody decides at 722 to, did you tell them that I'll answer yeah, the I door did, in I a minute? Text, oh. I texted. Sorry. <laughs> um, so a neighbor's over and he has to uh, take me to see something. So um, here's a question. Why did they choose to make wax? Maybe to make wax a business or what was the, that question? I think they, she was asking, why did they choose to make wax and warmers? Why did Colette do that? uh it was actually kara i think well no kara no, kara saw an episode of oprah winfrey um where people had great like ideas millionaire moms. yeah and had started a business and called colette and said hey i think it'd be great if we started a business but we're not sure what it is and then colette colette had was a candle fanatic and she was repainting her house and when she took down the pictures there was a, a, a soot ring it's called ghosting around the walls um, around her um yeah. you'll see pictures you take stuff down and you'll see shadows where the picture was hanging is all white and, and then, then soot is and then she painted walls. the walls and then a few a few weeks later, it seeped, it, it back. seeped back through. So she kind of ruined her walls because she burned so many candles. And her husband said, no, we can't do this anymore. And she was really frustrated that, uh, at what had happened. So but she had all these scented candles she loved. So she broke the glass off and cut the chunks of wax and put them in a, in a mug um, on oh, no. a coffee cup coffee, warmer. Yeah. Um, those mug warmers and so 
And she, so she get the scent of her fragrance without burning the candle. And then she was talking to Colette or Kara one day and Kara says, I want to start a business. And Colette said, no, I got this, I got this idea. great idea. Let's figure it out. <laughs> and that's how since it started. I did not know that about the cup and the coffee warmer. Yeah. yeah. That is really cool. And then we met them just a few months after that. They had put the brand together and went to a show and I met them at that show. They were just trying to get some traction. So we met them right off the bat. I think since it was maybe five months old at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They did the maybe. they um they did the Christmas show in October. Um they did a Christmas market in October and then they did the home show in March and I met them in we March. Met them in March, yeah. yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. So you learned something tonight. And we got to hang out with you and we want you to know a couple things. One, thank you for taking time to connect with one another and to um, learn and to grow. It's not easy. It's relatively simple. Yes. You just kind of plug in and you do your thing. But you got to do you your thing. You find people to share, but you have you to plug in and you have to do your thing. Yeah. And this is a great way to help people plug. And um, yeah. I, love, I love when um, people get together like this because you are learning and growing and sharing and maybe there's somebody on here that has experienced something that you're just um, experiencing for the first time and so by meeting like this and coming together you guys um, learn and grow together I love it and we've seen hundreds of thousands of people that have come into the business and succeed and we know that every one of you can because the whole range of people have succeeded. It's been done before. So it's proven. Um, it's proven. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter where you're at right now. It doesn't matter your abilities or disabilities. Um, plugging into the simple system, being authentic, attracting similar people and helping them with Sensi. If since you can bless their lives, helping them do that, that's the key. And doing it over and over and over again as you build momentum in your own life. And what will happen is you may not think that you are good enough and you might not be yet to reach your dreams. But day by day, week by week, focusing on other people and plugging into a system that works, you will get better day by day. And at some point you will be able to reach your dreams. Work on yourself by helping others and you'll develop the capacity so that you can look back and say, wow, I've come a long way. If you focus on yourself, oftentimes you can't get down the road. You can't wow. get there very far. You gotta focus on other people. I could not have done it without Tiffany. And I want Tiffany to say something cause she's, she's my right hand man. And she was like the, um, when I met her, I met her in California. That was my first SFR. And we actually stayed in a hotel together. We met at Taco Bell. That's ah, I met her. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. So That's the I want, best story. <laughs> I know, right? But I want yeah. her to say something too for you guys go because she's instrumental yeah. in this too. No, I, so Michelle gives me a lot of credit because she says she couldn't have done this without me, but I honestly, I don't want to cry, but Michelle literally has became like a my person like my kids call her aunt shell like we Aww. everything together every single morning like at 8 30 I FaceTime her and we talk for 30 minutes like sometimes it's about life and then we always end the call with like what are we doing that day so we always like tell our teams and, like everybody on here that you need to find somebody that's going to hold you accountable um and that's somebody that you can just say like this is what I want to get done today and then somebody that's going to text you by the end of the day and say hey did you get that done because this business I mean we don't check in like our paychecks are up to us so you need somebody that's going to make sure that you're getting that paycheck so that's really what we always tell them um it's just accountability is huge so that's very really cool very so cool. what you're saying if I sum it up is that everybody needs a Michelle Everybody needs a Michelle. <laughs> and everybody has a Michelle. Just let me know. Just I want you to know that that's one of the things that I'm I'm really huge on 
Um, I know I did not personally sponsor everybody on my team. And I even have people on my team page that are not even on my team, but I just love them to the nth degree. And I will answer the phone in the middle of the night. I will do whatever they need to do because they might be in it. We have people all over the United States and they might be in a different time zone having a party. And if I see my phone going off or something and they need me, then I'm going to be there for them. And I just feel like that's something that, you, you have to have that love and compassion and that generosity to share yourself if you want to be successful. I feel like that, yeah, there's a there's a learning point, but that's what we have these two starts for. Everybody comes in. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> Hobo decided he's hungry. He decided he's hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh, we love Hobo. Hobo was helping you do planks today. That was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just, I, 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 I love on my team hard and that's something that you guys taught us from the very beginning. I was a slow grower. I mean, it was like a year and a half before I got my first recruit and I never give up and I'm not going to give up. My ultimate goal is retirement in less than two years from my job at the hospital. And I know that that's one thing that I never, ever could see because my husband and I owned our own business. So we never put back for retirement. And I always just figured that I would always work for forever until I died in the hospital that I worked for. But now with Cincy, this is like something that I can see in less than two years that I'll be able to retire and, you know, just work my Cincy business full time. So that, yeah. that means a lot to me and everybody everybody knows that so our Tuesday night sparks and our teams are amazing and we just we love on them hard and we're just watching them grow and that's one thing that Tiffany and I love to do is we just we love to watch them grow and encourage them so and thank you for doing that thank you for being great leaders and the rest of you prepare for the day when lots of people look up to you and you need to step into those leadership shoes and we're always awesome. here. Yes. Thank you so much. So anybody can be a Michelle right there. Anybody. <laughs> and a lot of you probably already are Michelle's to others. So just find your Tiffany's, right? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> right. We're, we're freaking frack. So you, you're not going to see one of us one day without seeing the other one. So us, and sale. us too. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Exactly. So we are so thankful for you that you took time out for us. Yeah. Well, we love Thanks you. For inviting Thank you so us much. And and you guys have a, have a great rest of your evening and hopefully we'll see some of you on the incentive trips before we head off to London. We, we will hopefully see you, but if not, we're definitely going to be here in three years when you come back. So don't worry about All that. Right. We're Take hoping care. down the floor. Love, guys. <laughs> love, love you. you. Bye. 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 All right, let's see. You're probably gonna like, she'll probably turn off her phone, but how fun. We're trying. Okay, <laughs> you can stay if you want to. <laughs> All right, let me switch the view back. We are so excited <clears throat> that they came on tonight to give us their little nuggets and um, give us that little bit of encouragement. So um, we are super excited that all of you showed up. This will be posted on um, our YouTube channels and um, our Tuesday Night Sparks um, post on our Facebook pages for all of our groups too. Um, I do want to say something um, before this call ends. Do you guys have any questions to like end up the month? Like, how's everything going? Do you need any help with anything? Like, what can we do? Unmute yourself so we know you're talking. You have to take it off mute. Oh, okay. Oh, I did mute. No, they can unmute themselves. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, I thought it was unmute. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bye, Ashley. <laughs> Anybody got any questions? They need any help with anything? We're in our last nine days. And y'all remember tomorrow, um, I don't know if you guys saw, tomorrow, if I sound weird, I'm kind of sick. But tomorrow, um, some of the buddies are coming to where the pre-orders that were supposed to be in October, they're gonna be able to redeem those. So I'm super excited about that. That's gonna give us a little boost in our PRV also. Um, so if you had any pre-orders for Sebastian, 
or Lady and the Tramp, they can start redeeming those as early as tomorrow. But if they don't want to redeem them, they still have through, um, I think, the end of December 31st to redeem those. Um, Michelle and I are also working on putting a pre-order list together for you guys. So everything that's been pre-ordered, you'll be able to like range your PRV per month on what's dropping that month. So that should help too a little bit. Yeah. Candace yeah. is always. <laughs> and, and the child warmer is also available starting tomorrow too. Thanks, Nicole. Um, but yeah, um, all of these things are going to help us push to the end of the month. And we are like super excited. You guys are killing it already. Mm -hmm. Um and y'all are doing such a really good job. Lots of promotions, lots of people hitting that incentive. I'm really excited for all of that. Um, some of y'all are super close to the incentive. So um, Candace has a question. Go ahead, un unmute yourself, Candace. Sorry, I was on <laughs> scroll anyway. Okay, so I am at 471 PRV, I think for the, right now. Um, I've been trying to push my end of the month customers to the beginning of the month and I've slowly done that this month. But what would you recommend just for that extra 30 bucks? Do $10 grab bags. That's what I literally just announced tonight and I've gotten like six or seven people that are in it. But then like I'm I'm so afraid because the party that I have right now which like all of my PRV is on I'm flipping her at the end of the month and she is like my entire 500. Oh, wait, she's <laughs> all of your 500? Yeah. Okay, well, we gotta get some more PRV because you need a flipper. <laughs> why don't you do, yeah. um, why don't you do the flower challenge? That's $45 for three flowers and that'll help you get, how much is that? It's 48.75 for four flowers. Okay, Katie broke it down um, for four flowers. You can get it for 48.75. So it's kind of like the 10 bar for what special, but it's flowers. So you type in the flower bundles to where you're getting 24 flowers. I have it broken down somewhere. But okay. essentially they're getting four flowers for 48.75. You just can't post the price. So you can say, message me about the special price for right. flowers. And essentially they're getting that fourth flower for 75 cents. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have Katie post that on the pages. But six people to buy four flowers. For well, you know what? Actually, she's not all of my 500. It's 225 at least. And then I think there's some overage with the... Rewards. Did you get any pre-orders, Candace, for the Lady of the Tramp and all that? Um, not the Lady and the Tramp. I just had bars, and I had um, six of each bars. So you didn't get any buddies? <coughs> okay. Maybe try to get a buddy. They may be able to, re I don't know, if they do redemption. Never mind. Let me just mute they for do a second. Redemption, I... You can't, I don't think you can order them. You have to so have. That's what I was wondering, yeah. The my flippers party is at um 303.75 and you're at 460 471 i think about oh, 461 because um so home office or customer service didn't actually take the prv off of the scam they did cancel it, but they didn't take it off of my account. So I messaged her and she said, since it already shipped, that they couldn't take it off of my PRV. And the person already got it. So you're going to have a negative PRV next month. So we'll have to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll watch out for scammers because they're super duper bad. Wait, but the UPS guy who, the UPS guy who delivered it, um did get a description of the woman and um had her sign oh cool molly can you talk molly is like a killer prv y'all so do you have any advice okay i can unmute myself there we go um so I, my actually i'm in the hospital right now you guys i've been i'm out of state with my um little one I've been here for um, since Monday, well, since Sunday, and I'll be here through Friday. So the whole month we've been planning for this trip and I will probably still end the month with about 2000 PRV. 
Um, that has really come with just consistency. Um, thanks for saying that because it, it actually was a very slow month get, getting going. And towards the last like week um, or so, I'm like, oh, crud, I need to get my act together. Like I really need to hit my paycheck. <laughs> so um, I am kind of pulling some last minute things together. I do do scent crates. Um, so I did a scent crate this month, um, just before we left, I took orders for those. Um, we are going to do a challenge with our team. Um, I'm looking forward to those pre-orders hitting tomorrow and seeing where the phase for our lady of the tramps are falling because I have more lady in the tramps than I had Sebastian. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think really it comes with consistency over time. And then um, as far as like pulling the rabbit out of the hat, that kind of, uh, it, I mean, you guys already touched on it, a lot of challenges and um, asking for bundling. I do do personal specials sometimes, but I try to avoid them as much as possible. Okay. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> yes, <it does. laughs> Very much so. Any more questions? We had like three pages of people and now we're down to one. Nobody was <laughs> Everybody came for the highlight. We're sticking around because um, thank you so much for inviting us. And, oh, yeah. um, and we're totally sticking around because we love to hear from you guys as um, how you, you know, how you interact with your team and what you guys are doing to be successful as well. So we're just so thankful that you invited us today. Oh, I love you guys. So anything we can do to help. And we actually, Tiffany and I are actually working on, we've probably got what, two or three months booked out as far as what we're doing each Tuesday night sparks. Um, mm -hmm. And we're super excited about it because we, I mean, we plan these things, you know, for you guys. And I think the more consistent we are and the more you guys, you know, talk about y'all need to talk about it on the team pages. Cause this, I mean, this was huge tonight and we're not stopping with Heidi and Orville. We have asked so many people to be our guest speakers. Like they will be our guest speakers eventually. Just wait until they start <laughs> popping up and y'all are going to be like, y'all have really been messaging all these people. <laughs> I, know, I know. Yes, we have. But um, I guess it's I should rock. stop the recording. But y'all got any more questions before we stop the recording? All right. No. Let's stop it right now.